Yes, 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 yes. Okay. This morning, our first reading is from Genesis chapter 17, starting with verse 1. When Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to him and said, I am God Almighty. Walk before me and be blameless. I will confirm my covenant between me and you and will greatly increase your numbers. Abram fell down and God said to him, as for me, this is my covenant with you. You will be the father of many nations. No longer will you be called Abram. Your name will be Abraham. For I have made you a father of many nations. I will make you uh, very fruitful. I will make nations of you and kings will come from you. I will establish my covenant as, everla as an everlasting covenant between me and you and your descendants after you for generations to come to be your God and the God of the, your descendants after you. God also said to Abraham, as for Sarai, your wife, you are no longer to call her Sarai. Her name will be Sarah. I will bless her and will surely give you a son by her. I will bless her that she will be the mother of nations. Kings of peoples will come from her. Here ends uh, the reading. Uh, please rise for the gospel. The gospel this morning is from Mark chapter 8 beginning with the 31st verse. He then began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders, chief priests and teachers of the law, and that he must be killed and after three days rise again. He spoke plainly about this, and Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. But when Jesus turned and looked at his disciples, he rebuked Peter. Get behind me, Satan, he said. You do not have in mind the things of God, but the things of men. Then he called the crowd to him along with his disciples and said, If anyone would come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save his life will lose it, but, though, but whoever loses his life for me and for the gospel will save it. What good is it for a man to gain the whole world yet forfeit his soul? Or what can a man give in exchange for his soul? If anyone is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, the Son of Man will be ashamed of him when he comes in his Father's glory with the holy angels. Here ends the gospel. Thanks be to God. You may be seated. There's a word that gets thrown around a lot. And it's a word that can be very easy to say, but much more difficult to do. And that word is trust. Now, we've just heard the Bible stories that we're going to look at today, and I'd like to revisit them with the word trust first and foremost. 